On the 11th of November 1918, the most deadly conflict the world has seen up until that point was coming to an end. Over 9 million combatants had died, and the total death toll exceeded 16 million. The armistice would be signed at 11 a.m., which would put a halt to the senseless bloodshed of the past four years. But at 10.59 a.m., one minute before the armistice would be signed, an American soldier threw himself at two German machine guns and was subsequently shot. He would be the last soldier killed in the First World War. Born in 1895, Henry Gunther was born into a German-American family. Both his parents, George Gunther and Lena Roth, were born to German immigrants. He grew up in Highland Town, which was populated by many German immigrants as well. The family practiced the Roman Catholic faith and Henry worked as a clerk at the National Bank of Baltimore. His Roman Catholic faith was prominently featured in his life. In 1915, he became a member of the Knights of Columbus. He didn't volunteer for military service, but was drafted in September 1917 and assigned to the 313th Regiment, nicknamed Baltimore Zone. Henry's regiment was part of the 57th Brigade of the 79th Infantry Division, and he was promoted to Supply Sergeant shortly after being drafted. He arrived in France in July 1918, four months before the war would end. The fact that he was only at the front for four months did not withhold him from writing a critical letter to a friend in August that year. In the letter, he wrote that the conditions at the front were horrible and that said friend should do everything he could to avoid being drafted. The army postal censor intercepted the letter, after which disciplinary action was taken. Gunther was demoted from sergeant to private. As for the war, on the 11th of November, at 5 o'clock in the morning, the ceasefire of Compagna had been signed. Because it was difficult to notify all troops at the Western Front, the ceasefire would not come into force until 11. The unit Gunther was a part of, Company A, was still on the battlefield during the morning of the 11th. However, the company was informed at 10.30 that the armistice was signed. Moving on regardless, a German machine gun nest blocked the road near them, and while the entire company remained at a halt, Gunther got up. His platoon sergeant and friend Ernest Powell ordered him to stand down, but Gunther got up, charged towards the Germans with his bayonet and started firing shots. Neither Powell's shouts or those of the Germans who were aware of the truce deterred him, and Gunther was shot in a short burst of automatic fire, killing him instantly. Henry Gunther's time of death was noted down as 10.59, one minute before the truce would come into effect. So, why did Gunther go through with an attack that obviously was suicide shortly before the war ended? Powell, the platoon commander, suspected that Gunther wanted to be rehabilitated due to his demotion. He wanted to prove his bravery and saw this as a last chance to do so. General John Pershing's day order of the following day mentions him as the last American casualty of the war. Posthumously, his demotion was reversed and he received the Distinguished Service Cross. At the instigation of his mother, his remains were transferred to Baltimore in 1921 and buried in the Redemptorist Most Holy Redeemer Cemetery. Aside from Henry Gunther, later investigations revealed that on the last day of the First World War, between the signing of the ceasefire and its entry into force, about 11,000 men were injured or killed, far more than usual on one day. And on that grisly note, I will leave you for now. Thanks for watching this video. And what is an event or person in the First World War that you would like to know more about and perhaps see a video of? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to this channel. See you next time.